Hi, thanks for watching my views and news. Two new stories. First one is an update on the ongoing talks between the Oromo Liberation Army, Ola and Ethiopian federal government. Ola has started discussions. A key virtual meeting is underway these minutes. Not between Ola and Ethiopian government. Talks already underway between government and Ola. But now Ola has started internal discussions involving diaspora people of Romania. Details for you. Secondly, an Orthodox priest was deported from Ethiopia earlier this year. He tried to visit Tegarai, he wanted to visit Makale, but from Addis Ababa airport, he was deported. But he arrived in Makale today. Firstly, viewers, uh, a very important update on the talks between the Oromo Liberation Army and Ethiopian federal government. The two are holding discussions in Darus Salaam, Tanzania. This is second round of talks between the two sides. First round was held a few months ago. No progress was made in the first round, but the two sides agreed to meet again. They met uh, last week. Uh, they met and we saw that uh, top Ola leader, Ola commander, Kumsa Dereba, Popularly known as Jalmaro, his deputy, Gamacho Aboe, Jal Sani, another top commander. They were flown out of Valaga, maybe by mediators, reportedly by mediators. US is mediating, Norway mediating, some other countries too, Igat too, reportedly. These uh, Ola commanders were flown out of Valaga safely. They were taken to Tanzania uh, and then talks started. Firstly, one a clarification. Several activists uh, critical of Ola are reporting that uh, Jalmaro was rescued by government. Basically, that his forces suffered losses in an operation. Some go to the extent of claiming that Jalmaro was wounded. And that is why he was evacuated by air from Valaga and taken uh, to a hospital in Tanzania. He is being treated there. This type of rumors are being spread. I could not confirm any large scale fighting between Ola fighters and Ethiopian government forces before the start of negotiations. What I heard from the ground through some people is that there was no large scale fighting. It wasn't that Ola was, Ola commander was evacuated. No. Uh, Ethiopian government of PMRB uh, wants to forge alliance with the Romo Liberation Army. There was no big operation against Ola ongoing in uh, Romania before the start of talks. I have been saying that that military is completely focused on Amhara. It wants to crush Fano fighters. And Ola fighters giving a little respite to military to relocate its. Uh, resources from Oromia to Amhara. Meanwhile, Ola was busy conducting recruitments, enhancing its capabilities in Oromia. So there was no large-scale clash leading to Jalmaro injured. All these were rumors reportedly. So the two sides started discussions in Darus Salaam. Nothing has come out so far. What was discussed there? What was the what was Ola's position? What was Ethiopian federal government's position? Though I told you about Ethiopian government's uh, attempt to use Eretia as uh, uh, a way, uh, as an excuse, you can say, uh, to get Ola's support. Ethiopian government negotiators were heard saying that. Uh, Port access is an existential issue for Ethiopia. That is why Ola and others should join hands with the government. Ola people can be adjusted in regional federal security forces. Uh, it seems that some progress has been made. That is why these minutes, and I'm recording this video, a key internal meeting is underway between Ola 
पीपल हु आर देयर इन तंजनिया एंड ओरोमो डास्परा एंड ओरोमो ग्रुप्स इन द ओरोमिया रीजन ऑफ इथियोपिया इट सेम दैट ओरोमो लिबरेशन आर्मी वाज टू टेक इट्स सपोर्टर्स ऑन बोर्ड बिफोर रीचिंग एन एग्रीमेंट बिफोर साइनिंग अ डील विद द फेडरल गवर्नमेंट Ola does not want to repeat the mistake made by TPLF and TPLF uh, signed Pretoria deal. It did not take Daspra on board. Uh, later, uh, in the second round of talks, in the uh, in, in talks held in Kenya after Pretoria, Daspra members were involved. But in the talks held in Pretoria, it was only TPLF TDF. There was no Daspra involvement. And Daspra later uh, created problems for Ethiopia for for Tigray People Liberation Front rejecting the Pretoria deal. Uh, it was difficult for Daspra, Tigray and Daspra, to digest the Pretoria deal. Ola does not uh, want to repeat the mistake made by TPLF, so it uh, wants to take Oromo people on board. A Zoom meeting is ongoing. Uh, hopefully, I'll get details of this meeting. If any of you happens to be part of the meeting, you can contact me after the meeting so that we could know what happened at the meeting. Or what is Ola's position about talks? What does Daspara want? What does uh, what do groups in Romia want? Uh, so hopefully, I'll get information from the meeting. How long will the meeting go on? That remains to be seen. Maybe for a few hours because it's a key meeting. Uh, can Ola convince its support base? before signing a peace deal i think uh, ola uh, is ready to sign the deal that is why it is holding this discussion there was no need to uh, call a virtual meeting while ola commanders are in tanzania it means that uh, some progress has been made ola wants to get the views of people uh, larger oromo population that Uh, will this support the deal if the deal is signed? Because I have been pointing out that uh, the deal could lead to fissures and splits in Ola, like we saw in 2018 when Romo Liberation Front signed a peace deal with the federal government. Ola split, and uh, OLA was born. So maybe if Ola signs a peace deal without taking people on board, a new Ola faction could be created. that is why ola has started the discussions before signing the peace deal or before reaching an understanding with the ethiopian federal government i'll update you in coming videos about this key development happening again if any one of you gets information about what happened at the meeting do contact me through email Uh, S A J I D six seven two two triple zero at the rate of gmail dot com. Second news story is from Tigray. Earlier this year, we saw uh, that when Tigray announced Tigray Orthodox Church announced to appoint bishops, uh, a priest from Australia was not allowed to reach Tigray. Sereke Berhan is the name of the priest. He landed in Addis Ababa, but on Addis Ababa airport he was stopped, and he remained uh, detained there for more than twenty-four hours. He was not allowed to fly to Makale. Also, the Church of Ethiopia stopped his departure from Addis Ababa to uh, Makale. it was said uh, that he in the past was involved in hate speech against the orthodox church and church elders he was deported uh, by uh, ethiopian authorities he was uh, deported uh, to australia through india he was sent to india then from india he was sent to uh, australia his home country now he is back Sereke Berhan is back. He visited Makale today. He arrived on Makale Airport, and hundreds of people there welcomed him on Makale Airport. The Orthodox Church and the uh, Ethiopian Orthodox Church both are split. No signs of any reconciliation. 
the orthodox church has not elected a new synod it has not elected a new patriarch but uh, the two are making decisions separately independently tegrai is building churches abroad too so no signs of uh, escalation and last time sarake brahan's visit of makale was uh, stopped by orthodox church of ethiopia this time main church is silent either the main church did not know that sarake brahan was going to visit makale or the church uh, maybe uh, now has decided that it should allow tegra to do whatever tegra orthodox church wants to do maybe uh, that is why sarake brahan managed to land in uh, tegra and secondly i think now uh, tegra and federal government are on better terms than they were a few months ago maybe that is why adi sababa listens to tegra more than uh, some elements in the ethiopian orthodox church thank you for watching